Investigators need to examine the wreckage of ANSAT 703 to determine why the pilots were unable to get their landing gear down. But the muddy terrain is presenting a challenge. It was uh, virtually impossible to get equipment onto that site. It would just slip and they would get stuck and slide down hills and so on. Vance comes up with a solution. They had a huge helicopter owned by Russians. What we suggested to them that they do is get a big long cable and put the cable through the fuselage. The ribs were in good enough condition that they would basically hold the weight of that fuselage. With all the wreckage in a hangar, investigators are able to examine the right landing gear to understand why it didn't come down. Vance is joined by Jim Donnelly, a maintenance engineer from de Havilland, the Dash 8's manufacturer. When the landing gear is up, a latch holds a roller on the gear's leg in the retracted position. When pilots lower the gear, an actuator moves the uplock latch to release the roller, allowing the landing gear to extend. This is probably where the problem was. Latch is definitely showing signs of wear. Over time, the roller wore a small groove into the right side latch. It was enough to prevent it from sliding into the down position. Here's another. Landing gear fails to extend. Yeah. It definitely was an issue. Investigators dig through the Dash 8's history. Yeah, the inset fleet sure had its share of problems. And both are Dash 8's by the looks of it. Anset New Zealand's Dash 8's had been experiencing landing gear failures for years. Just the left side. Gotcha. Thanks for that. They replaced the mechanism on the left side but we're waiting on parts for the right. ANSET only replaced the uh, left up lock actuator because that is where they experienced the majority of their issues. But all of these gear problems were easily dealt with. In every case, the pilots used the alternate method to lower the gear. And they all landed safely. If the gear didn't lower normally, pilots could pull a handle in the cockpit that manually disengaged the latch so that the gear could drop into position. The alternate system is 100% reliable. There has never been an issue with the alternate landing gear extension system failing to lower a landing gear. But evidence from the cockpit wreckage reveals the first officer didn't pull the handle hard enough to release the landing gear. We saw that the handle that is normally pulled uh, was partially pulled. Failing to lower the landing gear is unusual, but it doesn't explain why the pilots of ANSET Flight 703 slammed into a hill just a few miles from the airport. 